we're looking at a keynote presentation because we want to make a PDF version of this file. Why? So that we can share it. A PDF version is actually smaller so it would travel over the internet faster. It's also a file that's secure in that it cannot be changed. In fact, you could even password protect it so only those people with the password could access it. Finally, it's portable, which means it will be viewable on any computing device. Windows, iOS, OS X, Linux devices, computers, smartphones, tablets, you name it. If it can read a data file, it can read a PDF. So, how do we go about making our PDF? Go to the File menu, open it up, and select Export. There are several formats that we could choose. QuickTime, PPT is actually PowerPoint, as in Microsoft Office, PDF, Images, HTML, and iPod. The one that we're interested in is PDF. Now, I don't have any notes associated with these slides. If I did and I wanted to include these speaker notes, I could click this button. But I don't, so we'll leave it at slides. Then we have several options. The default is to print each stage of builds. I have no builds, so that doesn't really matter. Include skip slides. Well, I don't have any skip slides, so that doesn't matter. Add borders around slides. Okay. Include slide numbers. Not necessary. And include date. Then we've got the image quality. If image quality is really important, go ahead and select best. But keep in mind, the better the quality, the larger your file is going to be, which means it's going to take your readers longer to download. I'm going to leave mine at good. Now let's just open up security options for a second. I'm not going to set any security options, but I could require a password to open the document, to print a document, or to copy content from the document. Of course, if I check these boxes, I have to supply the password. I'm going to uncheck that one and just click Next. Then we're prompted for a file name, and it borrows the file name from the original file. In this case, this land is your land. And it wants to know where to store the file. My computer wants to store it on the desktop, and that's fine with me. So I'll just go ahead and click Export. And we're done just that quick. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to save this and then quit keynote. And here's our PDF. Let's double click on it. It'll take a second to open up and there it is. Now I've got a couple of different views. This view shows me one slide at a time. This one looks more like what we're familiar with with presentations when we're working on them. Kind of slideshow view and working view, if you will. So give it a try. I think you'll like it.